All right, here we are. The last update again before the, the end of April patch. I was hoping to have the end of April patch before this, but, but it's been delayed. And so we're back at my horrific spaghetti factory. And now you may notice there's even more conveyor belts everywhere, which is because I have finally implemented the Omni belt. Omni veyor belt. It goes... It's, it's over here. So, uh, I wanted to, to be able to set up a, a conveyor system so that I could have a truck that's like a spare parts truck that delivers spare parts, you know, whatever parts uh, I might need. And so I made a list of all the parts that I might need, and then I figured out all the <laughs> stack sizes, because I didn't want them to stack up where some were full stacks and some were not full stacks. Um, and so you can see that the the quick wire and the wire are full stacks and the uh, heavy modular frames they're double heavy modular frames that's the one thing that's doubled up um, just the math worked out that way that it, I needed to have one set of 50 stack items that were doubled up so that it would all balance but you can see here it's it's all uh, it's all leveling in properly it's all filling in equally and everything's getting getting filled up uh, at the same rate and pretty soon here it's gonna it's gonna deaden out it's gonna finish up because I'm gonna run out of room in my depot so let's go get my spare parts truck and we'll uh, we'll fiddle it up with parts here we go I was so so fascinating with this idea that I, I made some notes I'll try to put, uh, put some pictures in the notes up in editing so that you can see uh, my notes for how to do all this stuff. But it's basically, let's see, is there anything in here? Nothing in here. Oh yeah, this one is the one I was fueling with uh, power shards. So I, I'm curious if, uh, if you're gonna be able to put power shard in here or if that power shard is gone forever or if it'll block the fuel from going in. I guess we're about to find out. I'm gonna smash over that little tree. All right, loading it up. Let's, let's see all this stuff go in. Oh, look at this. So many parts. Oh, they're full stacks. It's so lovely. Cool. So now I can really easily get all the parts that I might need. Well, not every part. The only thing that's missing is um, concrete. There's no concrete in there. All right, so there it goes. It's already started filling back up again. How cool is that? Good. Good, good. Oh, and yeah, it looks like it did. Yeah, it overwrote my, my uh, power shard with the fuel thing. Oh, well. So now I can drive off into the sunset and uh, take these parts other places. Uh, let's see, is there anything else I've done recently? Oh, let's go see if I can go over to the... Oh, I might not be able to reach it by road. Um, tell you what, I'll edit out the driving transport part, and I'll go and uh, show you around the, the giant fuel power plant. All right, interesting note. I've driven all the way over here, and uh, I just realized that my fuel has not gone down at all. It's still hanging out at exactly 100 fuels. So uh, looks like that that power cell is still powering the vehicle even though uh, doesn't doesn't show up. It'd be interesting to see like how much is left over or if it just powers it forever I guess. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, interesting to find out. Anyway here we are we're at the other end of creation. Uh, I just went through that big uh, canyon you can see the, the elevator way back there and uh, this is the giant dune desert place in the northwest or the northeast corner of the map. And cleared out all the monsters around here. There used to be lots of those uh, fireball hammerhead guys. And uh, you can see on the horizon as we approach our vast oil fields, uh, it's 60 power plants. And it's brought the total up, including uh, 
all the other generators I've got, but uh, brought the total up to just under 17 gigawatts, I believe. Let's check to see how much this one is generating. We can just cut the line and and uh, see what the total is over here. These fields should be able to do the math, but eh, it was time for math. And then we can do it right here. So yeah, it's uh, all these oil spots, and I just uh, maxed them out with oil wells and refineries. So we're at yeah 16.9 uh, gigs. And what happens if we take the line down? Then we're at consuming three. I wonder where that's from. We shouldn't be consuming any. Hmm. Anyway, 8.1 gigawatts of power. So, yeah. Um, it's not really much to look at once you get over here. It's just like a whole mess of power plants. So you, uh, you connect them up three to a refinery and then these spots are all normal spots. They're not rich or yeah rich I think it's rich anyway these are normal so they can support two uh, refineries per well and so you get six power plants per well and there are ten spots out here so uh, yeah there they are 60 power plants I don't know what I'm going to do with all this power. Obviously, I'm not using it right now. I'm not even using the geothermal. Uh, speaking of which, maybe I'll go and build some more geothermal plants. Because I think there's a few more spots over on the east side of the map that aren't connected yet. I've got all these parts! So anyway, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, I just wanted to show off the, the main bus thing and, um, and the power plants. That was, that was it. Thanks for watching. Okay, so uh, my audio didn't record apparently. So here we go. We're going to record audio over the top of this other thing. Um, was trying to show you that these... Oh, no, I'm going to have to play the video. All right, hang on. Okay, so uh, I wanted to show you that the, the splitters here, when you combine the streams, you have to combine them with the proper ratios. And so you can't just do like one to one to one to everything because otherwise you'd get uh, way more uh, motors like lots more stacks of motors than you would stacks of wire and the wire wouldn't be full stacks and I wanted them to be full stacks so I made this five to one joiner uh, so it, it has a total of six units out and it's got one unit of this one in of the cable on this case and five units of the wire and so it splits it out three ways and then recombines it uh, there with one of the streams having the wire added and uh, so you get six to one that way uh, and it only works with it backed up, because if the downstream stream was not backed up, then those ones would feed faster than this one, or slower than this one. I don't know. Anyway, they, they would feed at different rates. Uh, so it only works if the downstream is backed up, um, which works great for this situation, because there's no way you can get all uh, 22 stacks of items feeding in uh, at maximum rate, even with a, a Mark IV conveyor. Maybe you could do it with a Mark V, but they aren't out yet. So anyway... I just want to show you these combiners, and the rest of them are, are more simple, like this is a, over to my right is a 2 to 1, oh, maybe I'll edit this in, there we go, because so over here is a 2 to 1, you've got 2 coming in this way, and 1 coming in that way, because this one splits off uh, from over here, so anyway, I just want to show you how that all works, and uh, that's basically the whole thing, it's got 1 to 1, and 2 to 1, and 5 to 1 uh, joiners, and uh, yeah, yeah I planned it all out so so it works. Um, I've got 54 units going through, um, and you could do it with their other ratios that work, um, but you can't just use any old number because the the math doesn't work out, so you wouldn't get even stacks. So like, you could do 32, you could do 72, um, you do 54. Like I said, that's what I'm using, uh, but it depends on what you're using. It might make more sense to to put ingots in instead of finished goods and then just take the ingots around with you so you have like iron ingots and steel ingots and, and katerium ingots instead of katerium wire and copper wire and all that stuff but um 
I chose to do it this way because now I've got finished parts and and I could and so I did. So anyway, uh, 